Welcome back to a brand new episode, everyone. I'm your host, Captain Jen Morgan, apparently, and I'm joined by your co-host, fucking Captain Coco Pebbles. I thought it was going to be Jennifer Walters. But I said I gave you a choice. You said, oh. We just watched episode seven. We just watched, Jen- we just watched Jennifer Walters. We just watched Jennifer Walters' show. Yeah. Uh, episode seven. Mm-hmm. Um, this was a good episode. It, yeah, it was okay. It was granted, but you know, uh, the whole yeah, it, was, um, it was it was a, it was a good it, it was, was a good, good you know the only yeah. progress that we're making realistically in the actual show is the ending of the actual show. Yeah, um, which we'll get to in a minute. Everyone, everyone claps because it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the um. The hardest part for me to digest in this whole episode was the whole um, getting to know yourself better, getting to like, yeah, you know. It was a therapeutic episode. It was a therapeutic episode. Um, we had a like wedding I... episode and then we had a therapeutic episode. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was just weird. They, all these like different characters just came out of the cut. Um, Saracen? I think was the vampire guy. Uh, yeah. Um, there was a vampire guy. I think his name was Sarson. I love how he's also out in broad daylight. So but he was, was also cool. a priest. <laughs> I mean, I've seen vampire priests before. That's nothing new to me. That's a new take. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say I made the comment. I'll say um, you started with the with the vampire priest. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say my comment again, like I said during the episode that we were watching. Um, Blade's gonna kill that guy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's probably not even a vampire, but Blade's still gonna kill him. Right. Oh, speaking of that, I have news about the Blade movie. Um, do you? You have inside news? Yes. Got... So, um, so I do get my my sources from my IGN, who's pretty reliable in that sense, uh, with Marvel and stuff. Um, they said the Blade director has been fired because the movie was shit. Uh, and it contained, uh, the script was only 90 pages. There was only two fight scenes that Kevin Feige said were absolute shit. (laughs) Mahershala Ali is frustrated by this. Not surprised that the whole film is redone. Um... So they did hire somebody else. I don't know who they were hired. Um, but they're going to keep the old director on as like a, not not a co-director, but like that he had some, I, I, I don't know how it's going to work, but they're just, they're done with him. <laughs> they hired someone new. Thank God. Thank God they caught it. You know, it's like a, like a win for, for Marvel, you know? Yeah. In my opinion. Um, yeah, because I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited for that. Oh, and apparently Armor Wars is supposed to be a movie and not a show. I thought they, they announced that it was going to be a show, but apparently it's going to be a movie. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be like Justin Hammer. It's probably going to be like the big movie before, um, the Thunderbolts come out because Thunderbolts was a team run by Justin Hammer. Um... But anyways, anyways, just talking about Marvel on a Marvel podcast. But um, the show was uh, it was interesting for me. Uh, like I said, the only really good thing, and 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 thing that kept us on track uh, and kept us you know going forward into the future. Which I called this the last episode. You too. did. You did. I and, was like, and then, like <laughs> and then you were in denial. And then you were in denial. I was like, um. Because at first, like, I was like, oh, it's, you know, it's all right. It's cool. It looks, you know, all right, cool. And then shit happens. Shit happens, yeah. So the guy that Jennifer, you know, was, was talking to and guy that showed interest in her uh, ended up being the bad guy. Um, and, and it's weird that they're calling, that he's calling himself Hulking when Hulking is a character in the show. Um, I mean... Hulking is or a was, character in the comics. Or was he talking to Hulking? Mm. Was he sending the message to Hulking? Because 
I don't think it. I I, I think it appeared that Hulk Hogan's Hulk name was is was in that was in that lab. Right, right. Well, that was yeah. that was him messaging. So whether or not Hulking is, uh, you know, what I mean, whether or not he's the bad guy, or Hulking is someone that we have yet to meet, um, it's it's we still never got a confirmation about uh, the Wrecking Crew though. If you think about it. Because yeah, just... one of the characters we saw in the show, in this episode, um, he never talked anymore about, you know. Yeah, he was just like, hey, I was acting like a dickhead. That's it. And and, and, and when All they right. tried to get her blood, they were like, I couldn't pierce that nasty green skin. Boss isn't going to be happy about this. And then... he, didn't, he didn't say shit about that. He was He basically said, like, oh. We was just acting like a bunch of badasses out here, and you know we just we just we fucked around and found out. Right. So, uh, I but mean, he, he didn't say he didn't say anything about his boss. Maybe his boss is that powerful that he'll just like off him if he says shit. Maybe. You know. Or, I mean, I know there was still that tiny little theory that Bolonsky was in on it, or that he's nah. really the boss. There's still nah. a little bit of me that believes that, but nah, come on. I mean, uh, okay, okay, like, like, like. He's rehabilitated. He wouldn't do all that just for that. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I don't know what you mean sarcastic, but like, honestly. No, when, I'm when being, I'm being serious because like, fucking Wong like, offered him somewhat freedom. Wong offered he, him he didn't something. Take it. Well, I don't know what that was about. Come, it, it come was, Thunderbolts. It was, we're gonna it was figure like, it out. It was freedom, in a way. I feel like it was like he could like say a Carmitage or something. You but know what? He, I just thought of maybe mm. maybe in the MCU Wong is going to be the uh the leader of the Thunderbolts. That could be interesting. Maybe. Maybe. I mean But my point is is that this dude, I think he's actually rehabilitated. I don't think they're really going to do much with him like that anyway. I, I mean, I wouldn't say that he's comic relief because it's cool to see a returning actor for a returning role. Mm -hmm. Um granted the role has been completely changed now obviously um i mean it has been like what 40 years not nah, 40 years like 20 something something like that um but you know i mean it's just it it's it is what it is but i don't know there's still that little bit of me that still believes that he's got something going on obviously he's going to be in thunderbolts uh, don't know what they're gonna do with him. Maybe they'll give us some more insight on what's been going on uh, with the Wong situation, letting him out of jail and whatnot. But um, maybe he's not as re rehabilitated as we think, <clears throat> or maybe something happens and you know he he just not he's like okay I'm done with the re rehabilitation. Gotta go do this. Gotta go do that. Um, but anyways, um, don't ever triple text people. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh don't, my gosh. Don't, triple text. Uh, don't, I just, don't, don't double text. I couldn't stop cringing at that. And then the whole way while she's driving down to Blonsky's ranch to check up on him. Uh, she's just like looking at her phone while she's driving. And I'm like, she's going to get into another car accident. Um, Where how have you gotten this shit in the first place? <laughs> um, it's time for round two. <laughs> for round two, you want to um, get some some, scan, some some sand in a wound now? You become <laughs> she sand. Okay, buddy. Okay, sorry, Grandma, sorry. let's get you back home. All right, it's time to take your medication and go to bed. <laughs> um, You're done for the night. We'll, we'll we'll see you tomorrow morning, Grandma. I I am interested in seeing what's going to be happening in the next episode. Um, I do believe the next episode is going to be the last. Um, yeah. So, because it'll be October, and he'll probably just like set something else up, like a movie or so. Me for Hulk for She Hulk. Well, you know no, that we're gonna get not, some not big end credit scene thing, though, right? Because yeah. of uh, I'm not saying specifically for She Hulk herself, I'm just saying like she'll be involved in something. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, we don't we don't know who all is gonna be involved with the Kang Dynasty or not, but um, you know, I mean, it's obviously gonna have to be a new team. 
Um, maybe Thor might return. Maybe Hulk. Don't know what's going on with him. I, I like I said earlier in earlier podcast podcast episodes. I do hope that they uh, shed some more light on what's going on with Hulk. You know, as like an end credit scene. Um, yeah. To show us like the future of the MCU involving him and and whatnot. But uh, you know, hopefully they give us something good. Um, we still haven't seen Daredevil. You know, I mean, at this point, I feel like it's not gonna mm-hmm. happen, but it's whatever. They're they're already they already gave us a little bit of something just to tease for his new upcoming show. Yeah, um, that's fine. But yeah, you know, that, people I mean, like Scoops are gonna like be frothing at the mouth for this <laughs> shit. I mean, the show is coming out next year, I think, right? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but. But you know, you know who I'm talking about, right? No. What are you talking about? Uh, so, Soups. Oh, he's yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. dude he's, yeah, he's great. He's already, him. like, shit-talking. He's already shit-talking, like, you love him. I love him. He's great. Bro, he was sitting there crying that he didn't see the, the Clone Wars shit, the, like, earlier in the... In the, in the uh... Andor show? No, 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 no. Um, Obi-Wan. Like, he was sitting there, and he was like, oh, I, he doesn't like stories, bro. He don't like stories. He just wants he just wants flashbacks. He just wants he wants cameos. That's all he wants. Oh. You ain't on the right side of TikTok. You on the toxic side of TikTok. <laughs> These characters are legit. Uh granted I don't know about the vampire guy, but Manbull <laughs> is a thing. He first appeared it's in the Blade got to him before he reached anybody. What? It just happened Blade was a little slow this time around. Wait, what? I said see so you didn't hear anything about like the vampire guy because blade killed him like oh yeah before he could reach anybody of value <laughs> and he um, just was a little slow this time around man bull was a guy uh he first appeared in daredevil number 78 back in uh 1971 he's a super villain appearing in american uh, obviously american comic book um and uh yeah, well, Agula? We, we, might, we might have we might have like a, like an audience in like Britain or something. You don't know. Um. Well, El Algula, Agula, not pronouncing it, is also a guy. He's he's a real dude. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him somewhere else, like in the comics, because his comic appearance is very familiar. Um. He first appeared in Power Man and Iron Fist, number fifty eight. Back in 1979, it said he's uh, he's patterned after the literal hero Zoro, and that's a quote from Wikipedia, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, he's a he, actually he's a mutant, believe it or not, which is pretty interesting. Uh, whether he's like one of the first mutants, obviously not, because. Uh, I think they're depicting and and i just goes to show how much i know about namor but i think namor either in the mcu or in the comics or both he's a mutant uh i know they're depicting him as a mutant in um in the mcu in the new black panther movie so that'd be pretty mm-hmm. cool um but uh the other the other characters i i don't really uh i don't really know and i didn't really think to look up anything but uh whether or not they're new or they're re- they're they're actual characters from the comics it's still weird <laughs> to just bring them about in this show i mean I, I made the note that like it made sense for them to just bring all these characters in because there is a uh, a law division for like people with abilities and powers mm-hmm. and stuff so yeah. I mean, it makes sense for them to come out of the the woodworks and just be like okay here i am committed a crime need help you know or just i just need help solving this or i didn't commit a crime right it's just uh i don't know it's a lot of work that they've got to make that they got to put into the show to get it to mm-hmm. not seem totally idiotic and stupid which in my opinion it doesn't but at the same time it's like I could probably do without a guy that's a porcupine and he's in a ghillie suit. You know what I mean? I I could probably do without that. But, I mean, you know, 
Because, like, we had Mr. Immortal. Now we've got these guys. I mean, like, what's next? Honestly. I, I feel like it pretty much is every episode that there's something new. Um, I think it's, it's like a silly little thing. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you, like it, it's basically just like oh, we have these like oh, as guardians are running around, and you know you have it, it just shows you the world that is now being it's now been built and like but it's going through like a comedic lens. Yeah. Um, but then it also has its own like own undertone of like this dude, like took a picture of her while she was asleep. Bro. Oh, that she, shit was creepy. Yeah, I know, right? And and uh, you know, and, and 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 he did get her blood. Um, yeah, no uh, and he about copied that. everything on her phone. Oh yeah. So it could, it could be. So he probably could have like literally cloned the phone. He probably. Yeah. So now he could get like a GPS location and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they'll they'll know where she is at at all times. Yeah. She's got her phone. You know they'll Pretty know crazy. who she's talking to, what she's talking to them about. They'll know everything, assuming that that he like completely cloned her phone right they will know everything and that's terrifying and crazy yeah hopefully they give us something good for the last episode or the last two I, I i'm i'm thinking the last episode is going to be you know it but but yeah we'll see um i think we probably just cut the episode short i i, I think we just talked about everything pretty much that yeah. happened uh you don't do you have anything that you want to put in there um, I have one thing I want to put in there, but it's not really about She-Hulk. So if you guys are listening on Spotify, um, our release dates are being weird. Um, we have another season that's already being released currently on YouTube with the uh, season of Andor. Um, so if you go over on YouTube, those things are being released the day after. Actually, we're, we were late on one thing, but that was my fault. It happens time to time. But our actual like scheduled release dates are like the day after the episode airs so you know andor comes out on wednesday we try to get it out thursday um the spotify thing's different because we do it on like based on seasons and we want to keep things in order on spotify because multiple different reasons um so available now on youtube uh is andor and it will eventually be available on spotify once the she-hawk ends uh this will be the case for multiple like uh like a uh, series that we're going to do in the future um but as far as right as now as they don't overlap have... but yeah for the foreseeable future until the next year arrives future. everything's going to be overlapping so yeah so <sighs> we're right now what, what we're telling you is that like we are doing she hawk we're also doing andor as well they're being released on youtube earlier than they are on spotify so if you're listening to this new and you don't see andor on spotify and you want to see andor it's over on youtube yeah so yeah go give it a listen and and thanks for listening to this episode uh, i know it was short but you know yeah it's um, i mean there's not there's not like a to be honest with you there's not really a whole lot to go on when it comes it's to not a lot of lore or anything like that it's just uh, yeah you, like you you have what like happened. instead of like 45 minutes of like oh I, we can read into this it's like two minutes of reading into something so right. like it's not really much we could go on except really just reviewing how we enjoyed the episode overall you know so yeah. it, it's, it's it's just the way it is it's just the way that the it's just the way that we operate and it's the way that the show just happens to be that that's why we have short episodes for this season yeah so well nothing wrong with that yeah so thank you for listening yeah, you can follow yeah, thank, us yeah at, thank you guys for listening you can follow us at twitch.tv slash follow your king twitch.tv slash Hot Pocket 61. Tristan's got his W. Yeah, if you go to W.GG, um, you get 10% off if you use the promo code CORPKING. That is C-O-R-P-K-I-N-G. Yeah, they're pretty good. They, they're they uh, energy drink company, but they also have like powder with like electrolytes in it. So they also like have like hydration stuff. So I highly recommend them. Pretty tasty. I ain't gonna lie. The Dragonade, pretty solid. I ain't gonna lie. Sounds great. Yeah. Go check it out. Uh, check yeah. us out. Uh, thanks for listening. And have a good night.